that the bishop can capture, but as, as Tanya was saying, queen takes d2, bishop takes back, rook g2 check, the king can only slide in the corner, and it's still better for black. You could take this bishop with check, and black has what? A bishop, a rook, and three and pawns pass? for the queen? That's too much material. Yeah, eventually it feels like this pawn should promote. This looks very strong for black, but maybe he wants something safer. Maybe he doesn't want to give up the queen here. It looks forced. Rook d2, you... Not this square, but you have to move your queen. I'm wondering whether you can uh, run away to this side. One of these squares, I'm not sure where you go. You are three pawns up. It feels like you, with a few accurate moves, you win this game if you're Hikaru. But uh, Fabiano, he is trying, and this on the board now. Black Queen attacked. Where does she find safety? But Hikaru also doesn't have that much time, right? So both mm -hmm. players uh, are about to get a scramble. Oh, nice block. Three. Yeah. Blocked there. Rook comes on to line up against Hikaru's king. And now the, level, the clocks are level as well. This could go anywhere, even though the Valbar says it's completely winning for black. It is a three result game. Yeah, three extra pawns for black, but that means nothing when you've only got 15 seconds left with such an open king. Okay, he hits the white queen, kicks her back, but still no way to safety for black yet. And uh, if Fabi can keep harassing that black queen, maybe swing the white rook back where it came from. There we go. Still asking questions. Hikaru frustrated. Fabi is not lying down. He's not <laughs> going down to defeat. Whoa. And now the white rook can swing back. <gasps> to the G2 square, massive oh threat. God. And can you trade off the rooks and then bring your queen in for the attack? Do it. I mean, there are many checks that the queen can give and Fabino does it. Yeah, how do you dodge all the checks that are incoming? Whoa. And Fabi, Dude. he's just relieved with the position. This is the best position he's had all game now. And now it is Hikaru who, has, who is on the defense, on the board and on the clock. Yeah, I don't think you can escape all the checks. Evaluation bar says pretty much level now. Fabi can start grabbing pawns even if he wants to. And where's the Black King going to hide? Yeah, I don't see it. Uh oh, King F's. I gotta be careful. Whoa. It goes right in the open. I mean, that just Whoa. gives White so many checks at this point. But Hikaru's trying to be tricky. He's going to run his King, go merry go round, and eventually will head to the H7 square. So I think Hikaru, he's trying to force Fabi into even more time trouble, and he's getting moves off with just seconds on his clock. Yep, diagonal checks are always a good way to start the game. And Fabi made that last move with two seconds left. He gives another check. But safety, there's safety for the Black King. No more checks. Oh, it's losing. Oh, oh that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Counter oh, check. That's going to hurt. Wins the bishop. Yeah. Queen. No, wait, he has bishop b3, though, right? Oh. And check. Oof. And then bishop d5. Yeah, now queen g3's mate. Coming. Oof. Checkmate is coming. Just oh, it's mating. Wow. Yikes. Nakamura is the one who checkmates Fabiano Caruana. He wow. wins the game. Wow. Hikaru Nakamura, after another big hustle, takes the lead in his match. And the finish, what a fantastic way to end this game three. That was absolutely insane. We see Hikaru there. He can't believe it. He throws his hand, but he's done what needed to be done. He takes the lead in the match. I still don't understand that expression. 